Leviticus chapter 8. Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Take Aharon and his sons with him, and the garments, and the anointing oil, and the bull of the sin offering, and the two rams, and the basket of unleavened bread, and assemble all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Moshe did as Yahweh commanded him, and the congregation was assembled at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Moshe said to the congregation, This is the thing that Yahweh commanded to be done. And Moshe brought Aharon and his sons and washed them with water. And he put the coat on him and tied the sash around his waist and clothed him with the robe and put the ephod on him and tied the skillfully woven band of the ephod around him, binding it to him with the band. And he placed the breastpiece on him. And in the breastpiece, he put the urim and the tumim. And he set the turban on his head. And on the turban, in front, he set the golden plate, the Kodesh crown, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. Then Moshe took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it, and consecrated them. And he sprinkled some of it on the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all its utensils, and the basin and its stand, to consecrate them. And he poured some of the anointing oil on Aharon's head, and anointed him to consecrate him. And Moshe brought Aharon's sons, and clothed them with coats, and tied sashes around their waists, and bound caps on them, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. Then he brought the bull of the sin offering, and Aharon and his sons laid their hands on the head of the bull of the sin offering, and he killed it. And Moshe took the blood, and with his finger put it on the horns of the altar around it, and purified the altar, and poured out the blood at the base of the altar, and consecrated it to make atonement for it. And he took all the fat that was on the entrails, and the long lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys with their fat, and Moshe burned them on the altar. But the bull and its skin and its flesh and its dung he burned up with fire outside the camp, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. Then he presented the ram of the burnt offering, and Aharon and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram, and he killed it, and Moshe threw the blood against the sides of the altar. He cut the ram into pieces, and Moshe burned the head, and the pieces, and the fat. He washed the entrails and the legs with water, and Moshe burned the whole ram on the altar. It was a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering for Yahweh, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. Then he presented the other ram, the ram of ordination, and Aharon and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram, and he killed it. And Moshe took some of its blood and put it on the lobe of Aharon's right ear, and on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot. Then he presented Aharon's sons, and Moshe put some of the blood on the lobes of their right ears, and on the thumbs of their right hands, and on the big toes of their right feet. And Moshe threw the blood against the sides of the altar. Then he took the fat and the fat tail and all the fat that was on the entrails and the long lobe of the liver and the two kidneys with their fat and the right thigh. And out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before Yahweh, he took one unleavened loaf and one loaf of bread with oil and one wafer and placed them on the pieces of fat and on the right thigh. And he put all these in the hands of Aharon and in the hands of his sons, and waved them as a wave offering before Yahweh. Then Moshe took them from their hands and burned them on the altar with the burnt offering. This was an ordination offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering to Yahweh. And Moshe took the breast and waved it for a wave offering before Yahweh. It was Moshe's portion of the ram of ordination, as Yahweh commanded Moshe. Then Moshe took some of the anointing oil and of the blood that was on the altar and sprinkled it on Aharon and his garments, and also on his sons and his sons' garments. So he consecrated Aharon and his garments and his sons and his sons' garments with him. And Moshe said to Aharon and his sons, Boil the flesh at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and there eat it and the bread that is in the basket of ordination offerings, as I commanded, saying, Aharon and his son shall eat it. And what remains of the flesh and the bread you shall burn up with fire. 
and ye shall not go outside the entrance of the tent of meeting for seven days, until the days of your ordination are completed, for it will take seven days to ordain you. As has been done today, Yahweh has commanded to be done to make atonement for you. At the entrance of the tent of meeting you shall remain day and night for seven days, performing what Yahweh has charged, so that ye do not die, for so I have been commanded. And Aharon and his sons did all the things that Yahweh commanded by Moshe. Amen.